2024 GMC Hummer FSUV everything, everywhere, all at once. Every few years a vehicle seemingly born of a what the hell, let's do it, attitude debuts. That go for it approach usually creates track ready sports cars, giving design and engineering what they want might not be cost efficient. But with the right people, it can result in something interesting. One second, before we start the video, kindly subscribe to this channel. That will motivate us to make more videos like this. Your support is very important for us. Only you can help us to reach the next milestone. Now, let's get started. In this case, the approach created the 2024 GMC Hummer FSUV. It's the fraternal twin of the Hummer pickup and everything from the rear doors forward is identical. An 8.9 inches wheelbase reduction shrinks cargo space relative to the pickup, but keeps rear seat space intact. The wheelbase might be shorter, but let's provide some perspective. The SUV's 126.7 inches wheelbase is still vast, coming within half an inch of a 1973 Lincoln Continentals. The Hummer pickup weighs 9640 pounds, but GMC claims the SUV isn't as heavy. Still, you may want to think twice before crossing bridges rated at 4 tons. The weight loss comes primarily from the SUV's smaller battery pack. Instead of 24 battery modules, the the SUV has just 20 package below the floor, and that low down mass leads to a stable feel. GMC isn't ready to announce official range numbers, but the estimated 177.3 kWh pack is expected to deliver at least 250 miles. At a level 2 hookup, the Hummer SUV can recharge at up to 19.2 kilowatts. Connect to a DC fast charger, the beer bong of the EV world, and the Hummer will throw back nearly 300 kilowatts, settling at 200 170 kilowatts for 10 minutes and averaging 180 kilowatts over a 30-minute period. GMC promises a 100-mile gain in range in 14 minutes. Meanwhile, the supplied home court can deliver up to 7.7 kilowatts when configured with its swappable 240-volt NEMA 14-50 plug-in. The Hummer can also share its electricity with EVs in need via an available accessory cable that can flow electrons at a rate of 6.0 kW, donating about 10 miles per hour. That smaller battery pack limits the combined output of the three motors from 1,000 horsepower in the pickup to 830 horses here. The tri-motor powertrain has a launch control mode that GMC calls Watts to Freedom or WTF because, well, WTH. It lowers the SUV's body by 3.5 inches, prepares the battery, and allows for a claimed 3.5 second rip to 60 miles per hour, accelerating hard with the suspension in a higher mode squats the rear end and points the nose skyward. Shorn of its body, the structure is built around the battery module with suspension mounting points that attach to unequal length control arms. Off-road equipped Hummers get knobby 35 inches tires on 18 inches wheels, while opting for the on-road version earns 22 inches wheels and LT305 divided by 55 R22 Goodyear Wrangler Territory all-terrain tires to increase rear suspension articulation, which keeps the wheels on the ground over uneven terrain. Off-road models ditch the rear anti-roll bar but gain a couple of underbody cameras that can chronicle the abuse suffered by the front and rear tires. No matter which chassis you select, you get air springs that offer 13.0 inches of adjustable travel and up to 15.9 inches of clearance. All but the base model get four-wheel steering that helps disguise the mass you're commanding. At slow speeds, the rear end tucks around, giving the SUV a turning circle of 35.4 feet, tighter than a Chevy Bolt EUVs. At higher speeds, the rear axle steering stabilizes the handling. Though the tire's grip limits are low, relax a little and you'll discover that GM Super Cruise works brilliantly. It's not an aggressive driver, but it will make lane changes on its own and then return to the right lane after completing the pass. Inside, the SUV is nearly identical to the pickup. The cabin is as wide as you'd expect of a Hummer, and the floor is flat. Hard plastics on the lower part of the instrument panel are disappointing in a vehicle this expensive. But there's a 12.3 inches digital gauge display in front of the driver and a central 13.4 inches touchscreen that either the driver or passenger can use. GMC wisely kept some physical switchgear for climate control functions and still clearly builds interiors with gloved hands in mind. Unlike in the pickup, the large center screen doesn't reflect annoyingly in the back glass. Rear seat space is excellent. 
The cargo area is big enough for five occupants' luggage, but the high floor means loading heavy bags requires a heave-ho. The Hummer EV SUV defies a lot of expectations. It accelerates like a sports car, handles like it's thousands of pounds lighter, and charms with the improbability of it all. There's not much on pavement grip, but it's capable off-road, and you'll never have to worry about sucking water into the intake. There's a lot of weight here, but there's also a lot of everything. Born of attitude and consequently full of attitude, the Hummer EV SUV left us thoroughly entertained. What do you think about this? Let me know this by commenting below. I would love to see them. I can go through your comments and share my feedback. Thanks for watching this video completely. Kindly subscribe to this channel and hit the like button. Thanks again. Have a great day.